I'll be real surprised if we don't get some trees blowing down on power lines or other problems. Look over there, you can see a tree limb just from the weight of the snow and a little bit of ice almost down to the driveway. Our power did go out and uh, I was walking out to check out the solar panels. We don't have a backup battery for the solar panels, but uh, usually in these cloudy, snowy, drizzly days, whatever, we make almost zero power. And that's basically what we got today. So you can see here, if you look at this panel, um, this is why we're not making any power. Literally zero kilowatts coming out, zero watts coming out of it. And uh, the cloudy, uh, snowy day, one part of it, part of it is snow on the panels. And we'll walk around here and look at the uh, inverter, but it's, it's reading zero. So this is why uh, I have to come up with other means of getting a little bit of power in the house. And I've got two small inverters I hook up to the cars. And I'm going to show you how I did that. This is some of our nightmare of cords. It's going upstairs to the... Wi-Fi router. This is cords. We had to keep the fish tank heated. And uh, we were the power actually is back on now, but it just came on. We had to keep this refrigerator going. Seems silly since it's so cold outside. But uh, and we were able to keep one of the TVs going with the inverters. This is the worst snow and ice storm we've had. Not really ice. We had mostly snow, some sleet, very little freezing rain. But uh, we've had here since we bought this place in 2005, probably about eight inches, really too deep for a normal car to be trying to drive on the street. This is where the two inverters power outputs are going into the house. I use some paper towels to kind of seal up that crack. This is an Ames Power 3000 watt inverter and charger. And uh, this is the back of it. This thing, the pure sine wave inverter is heavy. It's a very nice piece of equipment, but a refrigerator doesn't do well on it. When it cycles, this thing starts cycling and it's uh, it's a problem. Now this other inverter, which I'm going to show in a minute, works much better with the refrigerator, even though it's much lower quality. But I've got kept this one running. I just got jumper cables hooked up to that inverter, hooked up to this old Ford Focus, let it idle all night. It did pretty good. No real problems with it. And over here, this reminds me of when I lived in Michigan. I don't need this. Pretty, but no fun when your power goes out and you can't drive anywhere. We got this other one running. This is a, a in, I think it's called in power, 3000 watt inverter that we got at Northern Tool, I don't know, a long time ago, maybe it could be 10 years. And it's got two inputs back here. So it's really two 1500 watts. Inverters. There's one here and one there. I'm only using one because this alternator on this truck can't put out more than, you know, it can't put out enough to do 3,000 watts. This is a modified sine wave inverter, but this little thing, a fraction of the cost of that other one, this has bailed us out more times than I can, I can remind you because of all the power outages. But these things aren't that expensive. I don't know what the current price is, but you know, it is an inexpensive way to have a little bit of backup power. So obviously you gotta keep your vehicles running away from the house so you don't pollute yourself with carbon monoxide. 
Um, so that's it. Hope this helps somebody thinking about doing this. And uh, they're not obviously not hard to hook up. I just use jumper cables and just regular extension cords. Also, we've got 12 kilowatt ground mount solar panels out there. There was so much snow and ice on them and cloudy and snowing. We had zero power yesterday. This is why just having a normal house backup like a Tesla Powerwall ain't gonna work when you have weather like this that comes in because you drain your battery down, then you wouldn't be able to recharge it. Uh, right now we don't have one, but we're looking at getting a, uh, possibly a gener generator with a propane tank and with a backup battery, or maybe wait until we get an EV with bi-directional charging. That's probably what I'd really like to do. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, like the video and click on the uh, round anisotropic plus subscribe button and check out our other links. We'd appreciate it. Thank you.